What's going on guys? I am Stock Sniper Mike and I am back with another group of weekly watchers OTC stocks to watch for this upcoming week, the official last trading week of 2021. Wow, and where did 2021 go? It's been an amazing year so far with the snipers. We have consistently been able to profit for another year here. Give yourself a great round of applause. In this game, it's very tough to tell yourself you are doing great because stocks keep going up, keep going down. It's never good. You're never at the best spot. You can never pick the top or the bottom. But at the end of the day, you are doing a great job. And I just want to say, keep up the hard work here because we officially only have four more days left in 2021 trading. Today, we're going to do what we do every week and go over our weekly watchers list. A list of stocks we believe have the most potential to make you and I money for the upcoming week. We release this list every single week on Sunday afternoon. If you're a part of the group, you'll be able to see this in the watch list tab inside our app or on our website. If you are not a part of the group, love to have you on the team. Check us out on our website at www.thestocksnipers.com or you could jump up in the Stock Sniper app on your iPhone or your Android on the Google Play or App Store and go search Stock Snipers. In there is where you're going to find this weekly watch list and the stocks that we think are going to make us money in the upcoming week here. So I'm going to jump right in to show you exactly how to get there if you are in the app. We're going to dive in right to the app right here. All right, when we get to the Stock Sniper app, we are going to log in here. You're going to log yourself in, and when you get in, you're going to see the all page. The all is everything that we have to offer. You have that morning watch list where we were able to make over $1,100 on Money Monday morning from it. And then you have the sniper scope. That's a PM watch list. So every day, not only do you get this weekly watch list you're going to get on the week, you also get a morning watch list as well as a PM watch list because we are day traders and it is constantly changing here. So if you go over to the watch list tab, that's where you're going to find this watch list that we are talking about today. And that is the weekly watchers. When you click on that weekly watch list you're gonna see a list of 10 OTC stocks you're gonna see a list of the stocks and then a list of the sniper patterns that we like to play now as a sniper we like to play patterns we do not like the actual stock we like to avoid our emotions and falling in love with the stock and just falling in love with the plan and the pattern and that's what we're doing here with all 10 of these stocks now we're not telling you to go buy all 10 of these right now on Monday or Tuesday morning we are just telling you guys that these stocks have potential to make us money overnight. And if they can hold certain support levels that we're going to talk about or break above certain resistance levels that we're going to talk about, then is when you take action and playing that sniper pattern. So let's dive into this list. I'm going to try to go over this quickly so I don't bore you guys too much here. So let's dive in to a fan favorite and one stock that has made us $1,000 in the past, actually about two months ago. This is a Bitcoin stock that's actually a stock exchange for Bitcoins out there. So you can actually buy all coins, Bitcoins on this. This is called Voyager. It's an OTC stock, VYGVF. Even though it is a $14 stock, it is an OTC stock. Now, we like the fact that this thing is finally starting to curl back up above $14 after leveling out at 13 Last time it was able to pop like this on the first green day, we were able to take advantage and make over $1,000 here. So we're going to be looking for a similar move here in Voyager over this week. Now we do want to see a pop above $15 and hold that spot to start the new week and then maybe we can get above that $16.82 multi-month resistance level that is ahead. But big shout out to Voyager because we made money in the past and then this week we actually were able to profit off this because we took it over the weekend and we sold it from $14.60 all the way to $15.60. So a nice $540 right from this list already to start off the new week. And the next one, we're going to keep it with the same sector. So we always like to say when one sector heats up, 
with our kind of stocks that you could take full advantage of them and usually make over 15% overnight in them. And what sector momentum means that something hot in the overall world is happening to make these stocks move. And right now the sector we are talking about is Bitcoin because Bitcoin did pop back above 50,000 over Christmas break and now we're going above 51,000. So nice to see Bitcoin get a bounce. Usually when that bounces, Bitcoin related stocks bounce and the stock snipers jump on it. So MGTI is one of those Bitcoin related stocks that has been hovering all the way down after it got a very nice spike a couple months back when Bitcoin was going crazy. Now it's coming all the way back down to the two cent area. We do like the fact that it did break above two cents to close the week there. We want to see it get back above that and then be able to settle there and then get that pop and possibly move north for next week. But a key about getting that pop and volume in this kind of stock that's a lighter volume OTC stock is if the sector momentum could pick up in Bitcoin and maybe Bitcoin could pop above 55,000 again. If we don't see that, we might not be able to see the volume come in here. But either way, we're going to be looking for the hold of 02 in MGTI. The next one we're going to stick with is another great one because this is another one we took over the weekend from Friday to Monday. Another Bitcoin related stock that got a very nice pop from two cents all the way up to 875 and then consolidating above five cents the next eight days. So after a nice consolidation, the stock then creates a first green day and that's when we decide to jump in it. We got in at 62 on a dip on Thursday afternoon before Christmas and on Monday Monday morning we got the pop that we were looking for. We actually sold this thing at right about 7-1 where we were able to make $620 overnight here on AXA but the stock did pop all the way to eight cents. So you could have made another 12% there on your money in AXA. So big shout out for snipers that stayed patient there. We had a long list of snipers in the chat room that were able to profit with us on AXA. All together, we made over 3,100 that were tagged inside the sniper chat. Some people like to keep it private, but for the people that kept it public, great work here in AXA. We are now gonna be looking for the upcoming week of that multi-month breakout of 875. So it did get the push on Money Monday, but it kind of settled there at seven cents. The next spot up is 875, and that's when we're gonna be looking to possibly snipe it for a multi-month breakout where it could maybe break 10 cents. This next one is a slower moving one and one that was reaching 52 week highs that we wanted to play on Thursday, but never got that push. This is INTK. It's on three green days already. So we always say after three green days, the odds are against your favor. We're most likely not gonna play this if it spikes on Monday and breaks out. We wanna see a consolidation, possibly sit above this one three area for Monday, Tuesday, maybe two days able to consolidate and then finally break above one five. If that's able to happen, we're gonna be sniping INTK. The next one is another higher price OTC stocks. Not all OTC stocks are penny stocks, guys. A lot of people are mistaken by that. This is AZMCF, a stock that's actually all the way up in the 450s. The 52 week breakout is 459. This thing has been settling right about 420 and 440 area. Looking like it wants to break out anytime now. So lighter volume here, but if it's able to get up and creep to that 459 spot, we're gonna be looking to possibly snipe this one. But like we said before, this is a lighter volume and with snipers, we do need to see volume to be able to buy and sell the stocks that we like. So if this one does get volume, we'll most likely be a part of that 52 week breakout. This next one is a rare pattern that doesn't happen often. One of the four sniper patterns though that getting us able to consistently profit in the stock market and that's a first red day short. So this is really the only short that we have that we actually like to eye down here as a sniper pattern and with the OTC stocks we always like to say after three green days the odds are now against your favor. So this stock is that made three green days to end the week last week and $182 area is now a resistance spot that it's coming up to. So we have three green days, which is one plus, and then you have a resistance area to possibly risk yourself off of, which is the next plus that you wanna see in a short. So we're gonna be looking to possibly short this one if it's able to create two or one more green day and push up to that $2 area and we're gonna be playing a whack-a-mole back down.
All right, and the next couple of stocks we're gonna go over are gonna be stocks that are gonna be in one sector, just like we talked about before, when certain sectors start to heat up. It's amazing what can happen with these sniper patterns. And now that we talked about the Bitcoin sector a bit, we're gonna move on over to a new one, and that's the EV energy related sector. These are the stocks that are more related to the electric battery and the EV cars that are starting to become a big thing in the world now. I mean, the United States are saying at one point we're only gonna be driving electric cars so if that is the case this sector is only going to be getting hotter and when tesla starts to move or other ev related stocks start to move and get pops the sector does seem to get a move as well so that's the overall sector momentum with the ev sector is if tesla gets a nice pop which it did finally pop back over a thousand dollars to close the week last week another big news was nkla uh, nikola the new electric car vehicle actually got their first order in big semi trucks so semi trucks are actually becoming electric now as well and this stock got a big order of that their first order ever last week right before christmas time perfect timing and they actually were able to get a spike and create a first green day if these stocks are able to continue next week we're going to be looking for these upcoming ev related otc stocks to make a move and the next one we're going to talk about is the one that we we're actually able to make just about 300 dollars on last week a-L-Y-I. On that first first green day that we thought was going to happen here, as you can see, this stock has ran big in the past and now it's come completely down back to long-term support. That long-term support area of 1-2 has been a nice spot that it's able to pounce off of and it did get that bounce last week all the way to 145. We were able to take advantage of it, but we wanted to get more out of it. We only made 8% there, just about over $300. But we could have made some more if it was able to create that real first green day to second green day move. And that's what we're gonna be looking for this week in ALYI. The push above 145 is what we're gonna be looking for to make that first green day, but we also need it to hold one two for us to keep paying attention to it. This next one is another one that we've made money off of in the past. We always say what goes around comes back around. This one's hovering above that $1 spot. It's a dollar stock that doesn't wanna become a penny stock. ABML. Every time it's able to get a nice spike, it's usually able to follow up with the green day. So we're going to be looking for the day that this stock is able to get back above 110. The day that happens, we're most likely going to be looking to play this EV related stock. The next one, OTC EV related penny stock, HYSR, is another former big runner. Just like ALYI, they got huge spikes at the same time because it's all about sector momentum here. With HYSR, it's now coming all the way back down to that 4-7 area and then creating a first green day. But the first green day happened really at the end of the day and it got a spike at the closing minutes here. So we weren't convinced by it, but we do want to see it get back above 4-7-5. If it's able to get back above 4-7-5 and hold that 4-5 area or around 4-3, we we do like the odds of HYSR creating a first green day and then possibly a second green day follow-up. Next one looks like it has a consistent pattern here. A nice follow, 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 and then green day. Follow, 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 green day. And that's what happens here. And the green days do have follow-up green days. We think that this should be happening any time now because if you look at the long-term chart, we say history repeats itself. And look at it. The long-term chart shows it. The history does repeat itself with these follow-up green days. So we're going to be looking Looking for the day AITX gets back above two cents and is able to create that first green day where we're able to snipe it and possibly get a second green day out of it. And that's about it, guys. That wraps it up with the 10 OTC stocks that we are potentially looking to snipe on the upcoming week. Like I said before, these are released on Sunday for all the snipers. We were actually already able to profit $1,150 just over that on Money Monday from two of these Bitcoin stocks, Voyager and AXA. So big shout out to the team. As a whole, we made over $5,000 in the chat room. So big shout out to the team on being able to profit on both of these stocks, especially in a time where Christmas was just last weekend and a lot of people went out and bought a lot of gifts for their loved ones and their friends, maybe on their credit cards. Now is a perfect time to take that sniper bag and pay that credit card off and act like Christmas never happened and you were literally Santa there.
All right, guys, that's why we do what we do. I hope to see you guys profiting with us. If you're not on the team with us, maybe you can profit off one of those 10 stocks that we just talked about. But if you are on the team, I'm sure we're going to be able to catch another play before the end of 2021 here. Only four more days left of the year, guys. Let's close it out strong. It's been amazing so far with the Sniper team and all the followers and YouTube following that we've had so far. Big shout out to all you guys. If you're not subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button. We have great stuff coming up in the new year in 2022. I'll see you guys back here then for a new year. Make sure you have a blessed New Year's and stay safe out there. Stock Sniper Mike, out.